Thank you for turning to page 121. Welcome back to page 121. Today we're going to take a look at one of the neater project products that was put out for Early Traveler. The Adventure Class Ships Volume 1. There was also Volume 2. There was a Merchant Class Ship, Aslan Ships, and a Hotel Complex. I'll feature, uh, I have the other ships. I don't have the Hotel Complex, unfortunately. But I'll feature the other ships possibly in a future video. What this was, when it was released in 1981, was an opportunity to have big deck plans for starships in Traveler. This was scaled to be used used with uh, Snapshot, which was the uh, Traveler combat game that could be played without a referee, but could still use Traveler characters. I did a video on that not too long ago. If you look in the history, you'll find it. And uh, this greatly expanded your selection of uh, deck plans from the box, the box set of Snapshot, and just really help play overall. The product came out, as I said, in 1981. It was produced primarily by Jordan Wiseman. Uh, he uh, is credited with product, the concept, and design. And some of the writing, and William H. Keith Jr. It gets the cover art and the interior art credit. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what you would get inside this uh, very nice package and uh, why these were very useful and I still use them today. Okay, I've flipped the packaging over so you can see what you get inside. So if you're standing in the hobby store in 1981 and wondering what the heck this holds, this is what's inside. You have 10 different deck plans for 10 different starships. The idea was that you would get these starships, the deck plans, which I'll show in a moment, and you also got this pamphlet book, which came with it and had all the stats for the 10 ships, as well as the high guard information. So you could play this with high guard, which is a space combat system, or you could use it for snapshot. These were unbelievably useful. In 1981, the year I started Traveler, there wasn't really anything like this out there. There was no internet. There were no computers. You couldn't just go somewhere and, and lay your hands on a nice deck plan and run to Kinko's and print it out or whatever you wanted to do. This was what we had. And this was so worth it. The uh, book itself, there's a little bit more artwork there. The booklet came, and then the deck plans were separate. I do want to point out one thing. These were published by FASA, F-A-S-A, under license to from Game Designers Workshop. FASA, of course, went on in the mid-80s to become very popular for their Battletech game, which they held until the early 2000s. I want you to note the worded the verbiage across the top there. The Fredonian Aeronautics and Space Administration, F-A-S-A. Now, I'm not sure if that's what FASA always stood for. I know on this product that's what it stood for. They also published it there, Fredonian Autom Aeronautics and Space Administration. And for those Marx Brothers fans who are wondering, is this Fredonia from Duck Soup? I want to draw your attention to the order of the administrator, R.T. Firefly, assistant to the administrator. Anybody who's seen Duck Soup, knows that Rufus T. Firefly was Groucho Marx's character in that film. So I think that puts all this to rest as to, in my mind, where FASA came from and what Fredonia they were referring to. So this is a, a little homage to Duck Soup, uh, one of the best Marx Brothers films ever made. So I'm going to go ahead and um, lay out a couple of the sheets now and get some of the figures for a snapshot and show you what you can do with these. Okay. The first one I'm going to show is the Chameleon class. This is my personal favorite. It's a Commerce Raider. I use this a lot in my campaign. And I'm going to go ahead and, and show each of the decks. So there's the second deck. There's your main deck. And the cargo hold. And Snapshot, of course, is in the smaller squares here, the 15 millimeter. So you would be able to place the figures on there either as your player character figures as you played. You could also use the then-available Martian, Martian Metals figures for Traveler. Or you could play Snapshot with this and, and do the space combat. Each single sheet, this was run, drawn by Ross Babcock, 1981 FASA. 
Each sheet was two-sided. And here on the other side, we th see this Deadless class Zodani system defense boat. I loved that you got things to the uh, intrinsic to the spinward marches, such as the Zodani. I love that it was a system defense boat. This uh, just added a lot of depth and dimension to Traveler. I'm going to go ahead and show one or two more. Here's the Zitz class Zodani destroyer escort. So again, there you go. You've got the bridge, the main hull, and the engineering deck. Flip this guy over, and you had the Condor class Fredonian system defense boat. I'm not sure where the Fredonian system is, but it's a good gag. Again, if you're a fan of the uh, duck soup by the Marx Brothers, which was very popular in the early 80s, with, especially with gamers. Uh, almost as quoted as Monty Python at the table. So these were a lot more detailed than some of the maps that we'd gotten uh, in the smaller pamphlet size books and allowed you to have a more dynamic gaming environment. I'm going to get the snapshot figures out now and we're going to take a look at how they uh, worked on this set. Okay, <clears throat> I've got the, uh, the ship set up as if for a snapshot firefight. If you saw my video on how to play Snapshot, you know you pay action points to move your figure, have them change headings, fire a weapon, open doors. Uh, I explain the game system pretty well in that video. So this would be the green guys invading the ship, coming off the lift, and heading up into the main bridge area with our four intrepid crewmen ready to defend them. The nice thing about Snapshot was you could actually just take your character as it was from Traveler and play it. Or you could just whip up a quick NPC or do a mix of both. I use Snapshot quite a bit. In fact, Snapshot was one of my early things. Myself and the guy that got me into Traveler, we would play Snapshot. If we couldn't get a group together to play a game, we would just go ahead and scratch the old Traveler itch with some Snapshot. So this is how the figures fit on here. And you would play that way. You could also use the Martian Metals figures, which were available at the time. They were 15 millimeter. And I even used these with some of the 25 millimeter Traveler figures I acquired in the later 80s. It, they work just fine. I use these. I still use these. They, they come out once in a while. Not as often as they used to. Because honestly, there are three-dimensional versions that I've made. Uh, plaster poured ones from a company called Hearst Arts that I've made. And uh, I like some of those. I like three-dimension. But I still would use this for snapshot in a cold minute. In fact, my players don't know it yet, but there's a snapshot game in their future. Uh, having talked so much about this stuff, I've really gotten an itch to play. So, that's a quick look at what these had to offer. I'm going to show one more thing before I go. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay, the last thing I wanted to show on these is this one came as an envelope. It was just flat. The others came as small boxes. This guy was completely flat and had a very thoughtful piece of stiffening cardboard in there. Pretty innovative for the early 80s. That helped keep the mats from taking a band or anything while you stored them. Uh, these store flat, obviously, and the boxes, unfortunately, over the years have decided to store flat as well. I will go ahead and show some of the other ones in a future video. And again, I don't have the uh, hotel complex that came out for this set. I never saw that on the shelves. And the other thing I want to mention is that Far Future Enterprise does have these available on CD-ROM or thumb drive. They can be purchased there. Uh, they're under Apocrypha 1. And they also have, they have all four of these sets plus the hotel. So it is possible for you to get this and then a quick trip to, trip to Kinko's and you're all set. So that's it for today from page 121. If you liked what you saw, please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Well, that closes the book on another episode of page 121. Please leave your comments below, and if you enjoyed what you saw, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.